amazing. I've always wanted to do a poem here. I feel so lucky. Amazing. There was a woman. She was 32 years old but looked 17. She smiled sympathetically when I told her my age, 23, because she had guessed 30. I recently found three furrowed lines under each of my eyes indicating that my body, despite my efforts, is in fact getting older. I asked her what her secret was, how her skin looked so smooth, so fresh, so unused, so unlike mine. She talked me through 10 steps she performs every morning, every night, her skin routine. The eye makeup removal, the cleanse, the exfoliator, the refresher, the essence, the ampullae, the sheet mask, the eye cream, and finally, the moisturizer. How could she be fucked? 10 minutes every morning, 10 minutes every night, that's 20 minutes a day washing her face. Oh, and never sleep with your makeup on and always wear at least factor 50 right. She walked away and I was still in shock. I wear my makeup to bed more often than not. I usually stay up late. Stealing as many minutes from the day as I can. I rarely think ahead. I definitely don't have a face wash plan. I've worked out that this woman spends two hours a week washing her face. That's 121 hours every 365 days, which is five days a year. If this woman lives till she's 72, she'll spend a whole year of her life washing her fucking face. It sounds like some sort of cat daily torture camp sponsored by Instagram, and it's definitely not for me. Think of all the things she could have done with that extra year, backpacking in Nepal, learning to play the piano, pilot lessons, scuba diving. She could have had a baby or cycled across the country or maybe she could have just chilled out. So towards the end of my journey, if anybody asks me why I look so old, I'll tell them that I've left every minute I could not washing my face. When my grandchildren ask me what age I am, I'll tell them that I've laughed one million more times than my age. And I've had more friends than the age spots on my hands and I'm 50 times as old as as many times as I fucked your grandfather and I fuck off. And I'll tell them about all the adventures I've been on and all the trouble I've been in. And I'll tell them to go on holiday and wear minimum sunscreen because everyone looks better with a tan. And I'll show them my scars and tell them about the arguments that I've won and I've lost. And I'll tell them that if they want to pick at scabs that they should because skin heals and it molds to our story and you're never going to know anything if you're always careful. And you'll never learn any lessons if you always stay safe and that behaving is boring. I'll tell them that late night staying up drinking is a privilege denied to many. I'll tell them that traveling is a privilege denied to many. I'll tell them that growing old is a privilege denied to many. So don't care about your gray hair. It shows that you cared about something. Your flabbing belly is a testimony to your children. Your dangling boobies look fab. And who doesn't like things that wibble or wobble? Your soft skin shows that you are tender. Just stay healthy. But drink if you enjoy it. Dance if you enjoy it. Dance all the time, but especially with your friends. And try not to forget. And don't hate yourself because trust me, there are enough people in life to do that for you. And for God's sake, do not spend 20 minutes a day washing your face. Thank you very much. Cheers. Um, this next poem, thank you. Uh, this next poem I'm going to do is uh, about bamboo. Has anyone ever been to 